Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I'm going to show you how to make this rope rug. Uh, I've done it in a circle. You can do it in an oval as well. And I did this using a crochet hook. Just a crochet hook. This is a 5mm crochet hook. And I just got some of my scrap balls wool that match the rope. You can buy this rope in all different colours. It was only £2.75 for a big hank. Now I've done this one as a circle but you can do an oval shape as well and I'll show you how to do that. You can actually make these any size you like. If you make smaller circles you can actually use them for coasters for on your dining table and your plate will sit on there really nice. You can make them quite small for cups as well. Now like I said this is just a cheap rope it's already coloured. I'll show you the picture of the different colours that were available in the shop that I was in. Now this is really, really quick to do. It's really quick and it's really easy. Even if you've never used a crochet hook before. So this is the different colours of rope that you can get. Now I got mine in B&M Bargains but you can buy this almost anywhere. And there's lots of colours that will fit decoration that's in your home. So to start this rug, all you need is, I've got a spare ball of wool here. This is just a, a ball of red yarn. You can use any wool that you like. It's up to you. I've got a size 5 crochet hook here. Any hook will do as well that's going to work with your wool or your yarn. Now your rope, we're going to crochet over it and then we're going to start rolling it like this. If you want an oval rug, what you'll do is you'll do it like this. But you may have to over sew the gap to begin with. Once we get it going, you can make your oval one that way. But we're going to do this round one and we're going to make it go round like that. So the first thing you do is just take a lot of your yarn off like this or your wool. Now it's just a scrap ball that I've got there. It's not anything special and it's not anything expensive. Now what I did with my rope, I just singed the end of it just to keep all those little ends in. You can dip it into glue as well if you want. Anything that will just hold those nylon threads in there. But it's not necessary, but I did it anyway. Be careful that you don't burn yourself when you singe it with a lighter. All we're going to do is just tie, just tie your wool on as close to the edge as possible. Just tie it on, a good strong knot. You won't see that end once we've got it started. Now this is really, really simple to do. So we're just going to hold that end down there like that. Now hold your wool whatever way is comfortable for you. Now what you're going to do is just pinch it like this. So just hold your yarn out of the way, take your hook and go behind the rope. Catch it and pull it round in a hoop. So you've got a hoop like this. What you're going to do is just hook the yarn over your crochet hook and bring it through that loop like that. Just like a stitch. And then just push it close to the edge again. Now what this does is it makes a little chain all the way around the rope so that when we start winding we have a chain that we can join it with. I'll show you that in a few minutes. So again what you're going to do is with it still hooked here go behind the rope, grab your wool and bring it round to the front. Now we've got two stitches on now so we're going to go through both those stitches. And it makes a chain like this. So push it close to the front like this. 
tighten it up a little bit and do it again. So go behind your rope, grab your wool and bring it through those two stitches. And you've made another chain. I'll move that out of the way. Just push that down a little bit just till we get it started. Tighten it up a little bit. So we're going to make a chain, maybe down to about here, so that when we start to roll it, we'll have a chain that we can catch on to. So again, behind your rope, grab your yarn, bring it to the front, and come through those two stitches. Just push your chain up a little bit, just to begin with, like I've said already. So behind your rope, catch your yarn, bring it through, and crochet through those two stitches. Behind your rope, grab your yarn, and through your two stitches. Behind, grab it round and through the two stitches. Once you get this going, it's going to be quite quick and it's going to be really easy. So we're going to do this until we've got it long enough to start to curl it right around in a nice tight little bit and then we can start to catch this chain. So there we go. So tuck it in nice and tight. As tight as you can get that in there. Put your hook back through your stitch. Now what we're going to do this time is, before we go behind the rope, we're going to go through a chain stitch. Now you can see the chain stitches here. So what we're going to do is tuck that end tight in there. And we're going to go through a chain stitch. It might be a little bit difficult to begin with. Just push your hook through the chain stitch. Now go behind your rope, catch your yarn. A little bit fiddly to begin with. Now pull it through, pull it through. I'll do that again. So catch your yarn and pull it through that chain stitch. Now we're going to tuck that back in. Tuck it in nice and tight. Now come through your two stitches again. Now just tuck it in as we go along. Now we're going to go through the next chain stitch. So go through the chain. Just push it through that chain stitch, go behind your rope, catch that yarn and bring it through. Now once that starts to roll and tighten in, pull it nice and tight, but not too tight that you can't get your hook through again. So wind a little more. Now we're going to go through Sometimes you can go through the same stitch. You can go through the same stitch until you get to the next stitch. Now just go through again, catch your yarn and bring it through. Tuck that in. And pull through like that. Move around a little bit. Go through the next stitch. Pull your wool through and through your two stitches. That will tuck in once we get round a little bit. 
through your next part of your chain, going through the next part, we're going through each of these little parts here and behind that rope and crochet through. As you can see, your stitches are getting a little bit further apart. That's fine. Now, what you may need to do at the end is just take a darning needle and just do a few loops through these three parts here just to hold that in. But we're going to keep going round, so go through your next stitch. Grab your yarn, pull it around your rope and in through your next stitch and around. So we're just going to crochet around and around this rope like this. Now you can use rope, you can use strips of material, you can crochet around strips of material. You can do this with anything that will go around like this through your next stitch. And through. Pull that one. So all you need to do is keep going around and around and around. But remember and keep it flat. Keep it flat as you're working your way around and go around and around and around and pretty soon you'll have a nice large rug and it's really quick and it's really easy to do and it's all from a few yards of rope and a scrap ball of wool. Now to do an oval just crochet along in a length like this and then what you're going to do is just fold it in half fold it in half like this and then that will give you the start of your oval shape but you'll have to take a darning needle with some of your wool and stitch up and down here just stitch it together so you don't have a hole from up here down to here all the way along and that way it will be the start of your oval and it will look like this one now when you've got your rug to the end and you've got it as big as you want it. It's not going to fit in here. I will take a picture of it and show you that at the end. Now, if your rope's like mine and it's nylon, what the best thing to do to stop it all from fraying is just take a lighter and just melt those ends. Now, be careful because it will be hot. But that's just going to melt those ends in and stop them from fraying. Now don't set it on fire. You only want to melt those ends in. And they will melt in. Just make sure you're not left with any black ends. And that should still be nice and soft. So it's not too rough so that if you stand on it that's going to hurt your feet. Now all you do now is just crochet in your end. Crochet it in quite a few times to tighten it right up to the end. So just keep going through your crochet chain. Grab your wool from the top, pull it through. Now try and do these ones quite tight. Now for this end part you don't need to do a chain stitch. Just keep going through and around. That's what I did anyway. Pull it through. 
through the next one. Try and keep it your wool right over the end. Pull it through. Pull it quite tight. Pull it through those two, st those two stitches. And then what I did on my other one, I just turned it around a little bit and I worked my way back. Just work your way back through the same way, go through that same hole, catch your, your wool, bring it through, but just crochet through those two stitches. This is just going to hold it in place, this end. Just go through those last three hoops a couple of times. Just go through the chain here. Just to hold that end in nice and snug. Now all you need to do now is just pull that stitch quite big. A pair of scissors. Snip your wool off. And thread that. And thread that piece of wool through there and pull it tight. You can, if you want, just push your hook through some of these stitches like this and pull that end through just to hide it a little bit. Just pull it through some of those stitches. Just slide it through. So just push it through, catch the end of your wool. And pull it through. And then just snip it. And that's it. Just smooth out your rug, just smooth it all out and that's it. And that's your rug finished. Now this is a round one finished. I don't want a very big rug, it's just going to go at the front of my door on the inside of the house. So that's my rug done. Now if you're going to put this on laminate flooring, it may be wise to put some to put some non-slip matting on this side. Just put a few stitches around it and put some non-slip matting on. If it's going on top of a carpet, it'll be fine. And that's it. That's how easy it is to do this. And it's so versatile. You can use a different thickness of rope and you can make it chunkier. You can use a thinner rope and you can make placemats if you just make them to this size. You can make dinner mats and you can make little cup mats as well. You can make all sorts of things with this. So thank you very much for watching. All it leaves me to say is please subscribe. Please click that button. I need to get to 100,000 subscribers so that YouTube will give me an award of a silver play button to put on my wall. It's an award that you get if you reach 100,000 subscribers. So once again, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.